the CEM Board of Directors, and I'm also an instructor for their prep course uh, for their certification exam. I enjoy doing that. It's a great course of study that uh, not only teaches, but tests the basic fundamentals of energy engineering to make sure that we have qualified people out there performing services, and the clients know that the folks that they may hire for that service uh, are competent and uh, at least know the fundamentals demonstrated by uh, examination. It, it, it is the premier certification that's known throughout the industry worldwide in this particular field of energy engineering. It's the way to assess how energy engineers can demonstrate their technical competency. So we want them to have those skill sets, whether they learn them through the seminar series and on-the-job experience, or they come uh, to employment with our firm with that experience. We want them to have that skill set before they move forward. They'll need it. It's uh, fundamental to everything that we do. Basically, I have two lines of service. One is energy engineering, which is energy audits and retro commissioning and those kinds of analysis services that help uh, building owners and operators save energy in their buildings. It is documented proof, not only just an interview conversation, it's documented proof that someone has the combination of education and experience necessary and then also that they can demonstrate their confidence by passing an exam. We not only want to hire CEMs, we require our uh, folks that we recruit to be CEMs. If they are not, and we hire them anyway, we require them to go through that course of study and take that examination within a certain period of time. We sponsor it, but then if they, for some reason, don't pass the exam, we expect them to pass it on at their expense uh, or their employment is in jeopardy. There's another part of our service that is more unique, and it is resource efficiency managers, or for short, REMS. REMS are full-time energy efficiency consultants that reside at the client's site. They're not in our office, they're in the client's office and in their facilities, and they uh, work on a performance-based contract in that they must save the client more money than their contract costs in a year's time or their contract is terminated and they lose their job. So they have plenty of incentive to perform and they do it in several different ways. Notice the title says resource efficiency manager. It does not say energy, but energy is the dominant thing that they try to save. But they're also able to save uh, so municipal solid waste or water or other utilities. But the bottom line is they must save more than they cost on an annual basis or they go away. Typically their return is about $4 of savings annually to every dollar annually that their contract costs. There is no other investment that you can make in the World Energy Engineering Congress or in the stock market or in any other means, including real estate, that can provide that kind of return on investment. So that service for us is growing rapidly because our customers are finding that out and they can't get enough of it. So that's exciting.